What is going on today? Well, hey, my name is Scott Amareda. I'm a mitigator in Virginia, and I'll tell you what's going on. We are fixing a uh, radon removal system. I make videos for radon mitigators, those looking to get into the business. If you're a homeowner looking for a radon mitigator, I suggest you go to www.nrsb.org and I just plug in your zip code at that site. That's the National Radon Safety Board. And then I'll pull up a list of certified radon professionals in your area. So I was called out at this job today. I'm actually doing something I've never done before. That's why I make these videos. I had to show out of the ordinary stuff that will happen to radon mitigators. And I uh, hope it helps somebody out there someday. So this is a real estate transaction. And uh, as you can see, it's a pre-existing system. I did not install it. And uh, well, it failed. And um, what they did, this is what I call an external sub slab depressurization system. They're, you know, the installer got under the slab from the outside. There's no components of the system inside. So it's pretty appealing. And uh, it's not the easiest way to do it, but I suppose he did it because uh, to maintain a certain distance away from the electrical box. Uh, or boxes so at any rate it failed and so uh, when I was studying on it I thought well I guess I'm going to have to take apart the whole thing and and put it back together again and so I my initial plan was to abandon this right here and simply go in and down like we always do um, But it didn't come to me right away. You know, this is this is new territory for me. Um, you know, why did it fail? So, um, took my uh, little pilot bit and I drilled a hole right there and a hole right there, and I pulled back uh, mud. So that indicated a lack of gravel there, and that was a high suction fan out there. Um, here, I'll show you real quick. Um, for those not in the know how to identify a, a, a high suction fan, the inlets and outlets are typically three inches. So that's a four inch pipe reduced to three inch and three inch. Um, conventional fans uh, have four inch inlets and outlets. Um, might be helpful there for you. All right, so um, I already knew we were gonna be in a high suction situation. And so what I was preparing to do was make this the new suction point and route the thing in here and um, excavate the heck out of it. And of course, when I excavate, it's going to reveal stuff, right? So I've pulled, <laughs> I pulled two of these um, and almost two of these out of this pit and so then I'll let you know what I found in here. If you see my videos, I've done a couple on external sub slab depressurization jobs. The pipe that's coming in from outside under the ground here um, is going through cinder block. And cinder block is hollow right here, you see? And um, when you go through there, if, you, if you're not careful and seal that, um, you'll lose suction within the cavities of the cinder block. And that's precisely what happened here. And because we've got this vantage point, I can show it to you. Um, I've already repaired it with expanding foam. I, I, I sealed the cavities and, and cracks as best I could. It took me multiple times. I would just basically uh, feel in there with my hands, go back and, and take this, this phone back down in the hole, study it, uh, see how I did. If I missed anything, I'd go back. So it, it took me about three or four, maybe five times with one can. And I think we've got everything sealed up. Um, also, uh, I don't know if you picked up on this, the slab here, not only is there, there's no gravel really to speak of, it's actually uh, poured on sand. Uh, you, you don't see a lot of that, but uh, I've seen it maybe two or three times. And so I treat that pretty much like high suction. Um, 
and same strategy if you watch my videos when you when you do high suction we're focusing on corners okay that's how you're going to move the most air and remove the most radon is by focusing on corners um kind of sounds in, counterintuitive so um, i'll take you down there and you'll see excuse me I'll take you back down there again and you'll see how in the corners it was more forgiving and I was able to remove the most debris and uh, you, know, you just sort of find that weakness in the, the soil underneath the subfloor and just exploit it and just work the heck out of it and get as much out as you can to create suction channels that are going to run the perimeter of your floor. And Apologize if you've seen my videos and you've seen this example, but somebody out there probably hasn't. And so the way I think of a concrete floor in a basement is it's like a contact lens and uh, the heavy, it's gonna settle the most towards the, uh, you know what, here's an example right here. Look, the, uh, the water, <laughs> um, well, let me finish my thought. Uh, the most, you're gonna move air around the perimeter as opposed to like radially when, when you're pulling from uh, you know, a high suction situation. And I, f I feel like uh, you know, floors kind of get concave and um, it's gonna be the, the most condensed material is gonna be away from the walls towards the center. And you know, a good example is um, their uh, water softener was spitting um, water here and we had to actually I had to figure out, hey, where's all this water coming from? Well, it's running towards, you know, water's gonna go towards its, its uh, you know, least resistance and, and follow gravity. So there, there you go. Um, before we corrected this, you know, it was spitting water here and it's trying to go towards the center of the, the, uh, the floor here. At any rate, now, uh, as opposed to replacing their system, what I did was I repaired their suction point. So I've never done that before, and I thought it might give you a, a good uh, view. Uh, you know, that's not a view that you, you see every day, and that's why I make these videos. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here and uh, check back in with you in a little bit. Okay, so now we need to repair this portal that we used in order to uh, excavate this suction area and, and so forth. So what I have done is I drilled quarter inch holes and uh, put quarter inch anchors and then exterior screws that won't rust, stubbed them out like so. Uh, this is a plug from when I core drilled the hole and I've got gutter guard here. Uh, this is what I use typically at the top of the stack to keep uh, critters out and leaves and stuff of my systems. So I'm going to kind of do something along these lines here. Place it back in and then uh, seal it with this and then go over the top with uh, mortar. And that'll be a nice little repair there. Okay, so this is not just ordinary, you know, caulk. This is some high grade stuff right here. You can get it at Lowe's and uh, when it seals up and uh, kind of cures, it gets really darn hard. Um, so now we'll go ahead and mix the mortar up and do the rest with the mortar. And voila. So, uh, two last things here before we go. Uh, there's some cracks here on the floor. We're gonna seal those up uh, with some clear silicone. And then out here, I talked myself into going ahead and upgrading the fan. Uh, the fan that was on there was called an Eagle, and that was a um, pretty darn high suction fan. This is the Eagle Extreme, the latest and greatest from uh, Festa. And we have increased, it, it is significantly stronger. Um, before it was reading at 2, now we're at 2.5, so it's, it's um, working a lot harder. That should be good flow, but it was, it, it was not before. So this thing, the reason why I went ahead and upgraded the fan is because this, uh, this failed the radon test at 8 picocuries. 
we want to get below four. So it wasn't even close. Uh, if, if it had failed at like say five, I'd probably still use the same fan. But with these, with this game, it's there's a lot of inconsistency and uncertainty and experimentation and all that stuff. Experimentation, well, it takes time and gas. So we want to get it licked on the first try and uh, not have to come back and make a science project out of it. So we did something new today and I hope you gained something from it. And if you did, why don't you hit that like button and consider subscribing. I put out lots of content for the radon community. Does it cost you a dime? It means the world to me. All right, see you in the next video. Have a great day. Where is my